This is an extremely insightful meditation. It's one that I was taught uh, when I did my crystal diploma. It's an inner child meditation. It's important that the witch or the psychic, or whatever you choose to call yourself, understand their self and where their traits come from. So initially, when we were doing the inner child and they chose me, I said, oh no, don't choose me. I said I had a fairly dull childhood. Nothing really eventful happened. So they decided that they weren't going to listen to that and they sat me on the couch anyway and they led me through this inner child meditation. What it revealed to me was absolute amazing. It was stuff that I couldn't possibly have known, but I did know as a baby. So I want you just to do this in a very uh, truthful and uh, observing way. We're going to start the meditation in a moment, so get yourself comfortable. Sit with your back up right, hands up turned on your lap, and nice deep breaths. I would have hoped that by now you will have cleansed the room before you start, so that we've got a nice sterile atmosphere to meditate in, with nobody others, nobody else's or other thought forms drifting around. So if you're ready then, take three nice deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. As you breathe, relax more and more. And with every breath that you take, you feel more and more relaxed. In fact, your breathing really influences your relaxation. Above your head, a fantastic light and the light is divine itself. Let the light fall down in rays upon you. Let the light cascade around you. And as you breathe, the light protects you. You breathe in the light and you sigh out any darkness. And everything is transmuted by the light. Now I want you to imagine that you see a small child up on a stage in front of you. You're in the audience. And you look at the child on the stage and I want you to observe the whole thing. See what they look like. And you're going up to the child and you're going to ask them first of all, how do you feel up here on the stage? and you're going to make a mental note of their response. Once they respond, you'll ask another question. What are you doing here? And once again, monitor the response. Ask the child what their fears are. Take note of what they tell you and what are their dreams. Ask the child, how can you help them? Allow them to respond to you fully and if you have been too quick to answer or ask a question, Ask again and make sure you understand the response. Ask them to describe themselves and their personality. Ask them what has made them this way. What has influenced the child? Ask them who may have been positive and what positive traits that person has.
and ask them what they've learned from their difficult or more negative situations. You may choose to ask more questions as a result of what they say. You're getting to know the child and they are on the stage. If they have any fears, allay their fears. Pick up a good communication with this child, because this child is you. And it is important that you understand your inner child really well. Their fears, their hopes, their experiences, their dreams. And then we go some way to understanding how our character has been formulated. So you are going to make the child feel happy and good at the moment. You're going to say the right things to build their confidence. You're going to respond in a positive way to everything that they have told you that might be a difficulty. You're going to build their self-esteem, allay their fears, support their dreams. Now I will leave you alone with this now until you choose to come out of it. And when you do, I want you to write down everything you have experienced for yourself. This is a revelation. So at this stage, I'm not going to ask you to come back to the room. I'm going to ask you to do that yourself. Because at this stage, you should know how. Stay with the child for now then. And come back to the room when you're ready.
Yeah.